Police are looking for a man they say was caught on camera spreading hate speech. Hear from an owner of one of the vandalized businesses. Plus, the cold front is moving through central Florida, and it's about to bring the coldest air of the season. I'll let you know how long this cold blast will last today at 4. Police are looking for a man who vandalized some buildings in Flagler Beach. I'm Pamela Combe, and I have locals' reactions to the graffiti. Plus, a former WWE star sentenced in a deadly DUI crash. What she told the victim's family before learning her fate. Tony. And right now, a pattern change is underway. Some of the coldest air this season will be heading in tonight. I'll take you county by county and hour by hour. All straight ahead. West 2 News starts now with breaking news. And that breaking news tonight, a former pro wrestler is heading to prison for DUI manslaughter, but not for as long as the victim's family had hoped. Yeah, West Shoes Dave McDaniel joins us live right now in Daytona Beach, where the sentence was handed down. What's the latest, Dave? Well, it's been more than a year and a half since the pro wrestler Sonny Sitch was basically accused of slamming into the back of a car up in Ormond Beach while she was drinking, according to the authorities, killing 75-year-old Fran Lasseter. Now, after she delivered that, those statements, she also talked a lot about her career as a pro wrestler and the things, the various things she'd done as far as charitable contributions. The family, as they were leaving the courthouse, they said they thought that she basically, on one hand, apologized, but on the other hand, they thought that she developed a false equivalency, kind of making herself a victim in all of this. The de defense had claimed that she had basically a misdiagnosed mental illness issue as well as substance abuse addiction. And again, the judge did come up with 25 and a half total years, which is what the state wanted. But instead of having it being all in prison, it's going to be 17 and a half in prison. Then there will be uh, eight years on the DUI manslaughter and then eight years probation or seven years on the DUI manslaughter and eight years on probation. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. All right, Dave, thank you. Several flag where beach businesses have been vandalized with anti-Semitic graffiti, and right now police are trying to figure out who is responsible for it all. West News' Pamela Combe caught up with a business owner who says he was a victim of the hate crime. Police say the suspect's actions were unacceptable, and they're asking for help identifying him. Anyone with information is asked to call Flagler Beach Police. Right now we have a cold front moving through Central Florida. You can see we're pretty comfortable right now, but Tony, the coldest air of the season <laughs> is heading our way. You, When's it going to get here? You, you can kind of feel the change. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit drier yeah. out there. Uh, it's happening now. Then by daybreak tomorrow morning, most of us are going to be uh, in the 40s. Let me take you up towards the Ocala Square right now, summer, and you can see it's pretty. We got some high, thin, cirrus clouds, and those clouds will work back in overnight tonight, but the temperatures are still uh, going to fall. So the next couple of hours, even at sunset, temperatures are dropping. Clouds so thicken up here overnight tonight. Bottom line, though, the air is much drier behind this fraud. Temperatures up north in the mid-60s, down south, low 70s. But with each passing hour, we're going to see more and more negative numbers here as the air gets drier and colder. Uh, wind direction now out of the northwest. Wind speeds here. Anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Here come those clouds. They begin to thicken up right around 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And overnight tonight, they'll be in and out most of the night. However, again, look at these temperatures here. 62, 58, 55. If you're still in that holiday uh, shopping mode, you'll need the jacket. It's going to be crisp and cool. Look at these daybreak temperatures now. 42 in Ocala, 45 to land, 49 Bitlow, and 49 in Winter Haven. It gets even colder than that waking up Wednesday morning. That story straight ahead. All right, Tony, thank you. Our first warning weather team is always working to keep you ahead of any changes to our forecast. For the very latest updates, go ahead and download that free West 2 app and be sure to turn on your alerts. A pest control and lawn service worker in Polk County is accused of exposing himself to at least two customers. 27-year-old Tyler Mountain is in jail after the sheriff's office says two women reported him in separate situations at their homes. Mountain was fired from Massey Services following the complaints. Detectives believe there may be more victims out there. They're asking anyone with information to give them a call. Happening now, Deland Police need your help finding a man wanted on multiple charges, including aggravated battery against a pregnant person. 36-year-old Wayne Jones Jr. here is also now charged with false imprisonment and domestic battery by strangulation. If you know where he is, you are asked to call Crime Line immediately. A five-year-old girl has died after a car crash in Auburndale involving a police truck. Yeah, West News' Megan Mulatto spoke with the Polk County Sheriff who says the sergeant involved was actually on his way to help a deputy at the time. Sheriff Judd's message to the public right now, stop if you hear sirens, identify where they are coming from, and then proceed with caution.
Now turning to a big development in the war in the Middle East. Israel and Hamas have agreed to extend a temporary truce for an additional two days. This comes on what was the fourth and final day of their ceasefire. Today we just learned 11 hostages have been released by the or have been received by the Red Cross and are on their way to Israel. Two American women abducted by Hamas are not believed to be among the hostages released from Gaza. Now over the first three days of the truce, Hamas released a total of 58 hostages, which were mainly women and children. Israel freed 117 Palestinian prisoners as well. Memorial services are now underway for former First Lady Rosalind Carter. Her motorcade left her small hometown in Georgia for the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum in Atlanta this morning, where she is now lying in repose. The motorcade traveled to the Rosalind Carter Health and Human Sciences Complex at Georgia Southwestern State University. Wreaths were laid at the complex to honor the former First Lady. The procession then continued onto the Carter Presidential Library. The wife of former President Jimmy Carter died a week ago at the age of 96, two days after entering hospice care at home. And right now, members of the public are able to pay their respects during a repose service in the Carter Presidential Library. President Biden and the First Lady are expected to travel to Atlanta for tomorrow's public service. A private funeral service will then be held on Wednesday. Starting Friday, residents in Mount Dora will have the option to go solar. Mount Dora Electric Utility customers can apply for the Community Shared Solar Program, which gives them the option of having their power be a quarter, half, or fully solar generated. Officials say there had been a lot of interest in this program. There is a fee of about $5 that will be added to your electric bill, but keep in mind that you can save on your overall electric bill. So to come on Western News at 4, Google is about to start deleting accounts. We're going to tell you why they're doing it and what you have to do to prevent yours from being deleted. Plus, the Central Florida County is investing hundreds of thousands of dollars in an innovative violence prevention program. How a local nonprofit is helping young women grow through a unique mentorship. Next. Closed captioning brought to you by National Floors Direct. We all call Central Florida our home. That's why it's important to stay informed. We begin with breaking news this morning. Because at West 2, you're at the center of breaking news. And every morning, we work to keep you informed with all you need to know. We're experts who know how to help you plan for what's ahead. Giving you the first warning to Florida's changing weather. And what roads you should or shouldn't be on. Because breaking news can be a lot of things. We always keep you at the center of it. Wish to new sunrise starting at 4.30 a.m. Orange County is investing hundreds of thousands of dollars in its innovative violence prevention program called Credible Messengers. Yes, this month the county hired five more of these unique mentors in our latest Saving Our Streets report. Westview's Marley Martinez introduces us to She Lion. Gotta love that. Most Thursdays, Amanda mentors at the Community Life Improvement Center at the Ocoee Mall. First Lady Jill Biden just revealed the theme for the White House holiday season. It's called the magic, wonder, and joy of the season. And the First Lady says the design was inspired by our nation's youth. Each room is designed to capture this pure, unfiltered delight and imagination. To see, you know, the, this season, this time of year, through the wondrous, sparkling eyes of children. The White House expects to welcome about 100,000 visitors during the holiday season. A new analysis and map from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows snowfall is declining across the globe. Scientists blame rising temperatures from climate change. A warmer world means precipitation is more likely to fall as rain than snow, and the data shows a 2.7% decline in annual global snowfall since 1973. Now, it's most notable in the area of the or north of the tropics and south of the Arctic. While we might be seeing extreme winter storms in some areas, scientists warn that will decrease. A major concern from the trend is the impact on water supplies from melting snowpack. Okay, so we know we're not getting snow this week, but no. we are getting some of the coldest air we've seen so far this season. Yes, and it's kind of been trickling in, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. like it. Yeah, I like it too. You look at that sky, look at that visibility. That is just outstanding as this big dome of high pressure builds on in tonight. We'll have some high clouds filtering in uh, from time to time, and that's going to slow the fall of the temperatures. But despite that, 
We're still going to drop in the 40s in many locations here. Look at the, the current temperature now. 64 Palm Coast, 69 uh, back towards Wildwood and 72 in St. Cloud. Look at how dry the air is. You can feel that difference out there. You're touching things. You're getting a little bit of a shock in, uh, in some occasions there. 54 in Melbourne, 46 uh, dew point up there in Ocala. That tells us that the, the temperatures will drop right around sunset. Look at these highs tomorrow afternoon. Upper 50s. In our northern communities, 60 to about 65 to land Sanford over towards St. Cloud, back towards Palm Bay and Melbourne. And then when we take a look at the setup for Wednesday, one more cool day as high pressure begins to slide back to the east. We get a south-southwest wind by the time we get to uh, Thursday and Friday. I think late Friday on into the upcoming weekend, we'll see a little bit of rain. I'll uh, give you another look at that coming up a little bit later on. So uh, tomorrow afternoon, only 61. The record cool high is 50. Wednesday morning. 45 the record low 34 no chance of breaking that but again winter is coming and then Wednesday afternoon we'll be running in the mid 60s so the coldest temperature thus far this season is 53. We're likely to have three consecutive mornings in the 40s with Wednesday morning being the coldest and we haven't had a, a night or a morning in the 40s yet. Typically that happens the first week of November so we're running a little bit behind on that. European computer model through Sunday not much rain. The American GFS model however does bring more rain in. We'll take a closer look at that long range forecast uh, coming up at five and six. So to put it all together here for you mostly cloudy and cool on Tuesday. Uh, Thursday is our rebound day after a chilly start. We'll get up to 75. We're back in the 80s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on into Monday. Rain chances will be on the rise late in the weekend and early next week. All right, Tony, thank you. If giving back is on your holiday to-do list, don't worry, we've got you covered here at West 2. We're making it easy for you. West 2 Share Your Christmas campaign is back. It's for our 38th year on this Tuesday, Giving Tuesday. We're hoping you will join us for our day-long telethon and online donation drive, raising money for Second Harvest Food Bank. All of that money that we raise will stay right here in Central Florida, providing food and meals for children, seniors, and families who are barely getting by right now. So join us Tuesday on air and online at WESH.com to donate. We'll be right back. Closed captioning is sponsored by your local Toyota dealers. This first warning weather update is sponsored by the law offices of Dan Newland Injury Attorneys. All right, coming up in our next half hour, law enforcement agencies across the country have a warning for iPhone users. How you may be sharing sensitive information and not even know it and what you can do to stop it. Plus, three students shot on near a university campus in Vermont. Why their families want the attack investigated as a hate crime. West 2 News continues. Today, the man accused of shooting three Palestinian men in Vermont over the weekend appeared in court. He is currently facing charges of attempted murder, but as Sid Boulay reports, local and federal officials say they're still investigating the possibility of this being a hate crime. A big development in the war between Israel and Hamas. The temporary truce is being extended by two more days. We've also learned 11 hostages have been received by the Red Cross and are on their way to Israel. NBC's Alice Barr reports it's bringing new hope to families of the remaining hostages. And we are monitoring all of the developments as more hostages are released. When we're not on TV, you can find the latest details on negotiations between Israel and Hamas on our website, WESH.com, and the free WESH2 mobile app. A new study finds most school shootings typically stem from disputes between students, and they're not typically mass casualty events. Researchers looked at 253 school shootings between 1990 and 2016. About half of the total shootings involved at least one death. Most shooters were boys around the age of 16 and got the gun from a family member. Amazon has now surpassed both UPS and FedEx in residential delivery. According to documents viewed by the Wall Street Journal, Amazon delivered more than 4.8 billion packages in the U.S. before Thanksgiving. And that number is expected to reach almost 6 billion by the end of the year. The journal says while Amazon has surpassed both companies on residential delivery, it has not yet on a global scale. 
The U.S. Postal Service remains the top delivery service by volume. To prevent future supply chain issues like we saw during the pandemic, President Joe Biden has announced a new action plan. A special White House counsel will take up the issue and look for solutions. The president is also invoking the Defense Production Act to deal with drug shortages. That will allow for $35 million to be invested in the manufacturing of certain medication. Honda is recalling more than 300,000 Accords and HRVs because of a seatbelt problem. The automaker says the recalled 2023 and 2024 models are missing a piece that tightens seatbelts during a crash. The recall impacts Accords built between October 4th of last year and October 14th of this year. Now, the HRVs impacted were made between April 26th of last year up until October 14th of this year. You can find out more information about these recalls on our website, WESH.com. Just click on the As Seen on WESH 2 page. All right, parents, listen up. Several law enforcement agencies here in Central Florida and nationwide, for that matter, have a warning for iPhone users. The new iOS 17 update comes with a name drop feature. This allows users to easily share contact information with other devices that are nearby. You can turn this off by going to Settings, General, AirDrop, bringing devices together, and then turning that switch to off. Meta now facing legal trouble from more than half the country. Attorneys from 33 states are now suing the company for allegedly collecting data from children. They say that Meta knew about more than a million Instagram accounts from users under the age of 13 and then knowingly refused to shut down a majority of them. This lawsuit claims Meta collected the kids' personal information without their parents' consent. Florida is not part of this lawsuit, but has a separate federal suit against Mega Meta, alleging it misled users about potential mental health risks. If you have a Google account that you haven't checked in years, it might get deleted this week. Starting on Friday, Google will wipe accounts that haven't been active in the last two years. The company says older accounts are more likely to rely on recycled passwords and less likely to use security measures like two-step verification. Those accounts are far more vulnerable to phishing, hacking, and spam. To save your account, all you need to do is log in at least once every two years. All right, we are now less than a week away from the OUC Orlando Half Marathon at Lake Eola 5K, and West 2 is your home to watch the races from Lake Eola. But if you're itching to run, registration is still open for both races. The link is on our website, west.com. All you have to do is click the OUC Orlando Half Marathon tab. Now, if you want to run and save some money, West 2 viewers who sign up for the 5K can get a $7 discount by using the code WESH2 during registration. Still ahead on WESH2 News at 4, a lucky man wins the lottery for life. Yes, how a clerk's <laughs> error helped him win $25,000 a year forever. Plus, it is a type of depression that can happen during the changing of seasons, and some may not even know they have it. The five signs of seasonal affective disorder and how to cope with it. Closed captioning is sponsored by Rubenstein Law. Injured? Call 1-800-FL-LEGAL. I'm David Garcia at Advent Health. It's marathon season and many of you are in training. We're here to help you keep running and proud to sponsor Ready for Race Day. Join WESH 2 News for everything you need to know for the current running season. Watch Ready for Race Day, Wednesdays at 5 and 7. We're following some breaking news just into the West 2 newsroom. Take a good look at this video here. Orange County deputies are looking for this man who allegedly tried to rape a woman last night in her apartment. They say he followed the woman and pushed his way into her apartment near Alafaya Club Drive. This is in the area just north of Waterford Lakes. The woman fought the man off and a roommate helped chase him away. Now we know it is hard to see his face, but if you recognize this man, deputies want you to call 911. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson will travel to India and the United Arab Emirates this week for a series of meetings with key government officials. Nelson will also meet with space officials in both countries. Now, while in the UAE, Nelson will participate in the 2023 United Nations Climate Change Conference. It will be the first time a NASA Administrator will have attended this conference. SpaceX now gearing up for another launch off of our space coast. It's set to send up a batch of Starlink satellites on a Falcon 9 rocket tonight. The four-hour launch window at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station opens at 11. 
It is a type of depression that can happen during the changing of seasons. Most of the time, those experiencing seasonal affective disorder feel it in the fall or even the winter. Yeah, and some may not even know that they have it. Mandy Gaither has five signs to look out for and how you can cope. Now, experts say if you are having trouble with daily routines because of seasonal affective disorder, it's a good time to reach out to a doctor or mental health professional. That's good advice. All right, we do want to talk about your forecast now. We're starting off the work week. It is beautiful outside. It, is, it really is. Our temperatures are going to drop, and people just love that this time of year. Yeah, I think everyone does, Tony. And, you know, it's going to be the coldest of the year so far. It is, but the, the real question for you, Summer, is do you really enjoy it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> We're not talking about me, okay? We're not talking about me. Everyone but Summer. <laughs> Michelle and I, we know you Since pretty well. All right, let's take you back up towards Daytona Beach. Not beachy weather right now, but i tell you what, the 80s will be back later on this week. So just hang tight. You know, it's, uh, it's winter down here doesn't last very long, a couple of days, and then you warm right back up. All right, satellite radar shows what's going on. We've got a few high clouds wafting on in. That's going to be the trend overnight tonight. They'll thick it on up. Uh, temperatures will continue to fall from the 60s and the 70s into the 40s and the 50s on that north westerly wind flow. Evening planning here looking pretty good. Beautiful weather cooling quickly. Crisp and cool by 11 o'clock dropping down to about 55. Uh, we round the horn here up towards Reddick 42, Lynn 43, Webster 45, Claremont 45 degrees. On into Keenisville 48, St. Cloud you're at 49. Celebration 49. Uh, east of I-95 and A1A we're in the mid and the upper 50s. Uh, west of 95, 49 to about 50. The land to Disney 45 to about 49 degrees late in the day on Sunday. We'll be fine tuning that here for you over the next couple days. Here's a site for sore eyes. No tropical activity expected. Four days left in hurricane season. Let's put it all together here now for you. Seven day forecast 61, 67. Thursday is our turnaround day. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's the weather that summer likes. 80 to 85 degrees. Rain chances going up late in the weekend. And again, early next week. Perfect, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Brevard County, are you ready for Share Your Christmas? West Chew is heading back to the Brevard Zoo to collect food for Second Harvest Food Bank and the dozens of food pantries that they support there. Come see us on Friday, December 8th. We will be broadcasting live from the zoo from 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., collecting your non-perishable food donations. Full details on what to donate and how to get involved can be found on our website, WESH.com. Just click on the Share Your Christmas page. Stay with us. We're coming right back. First warning weather on WESH 2 is sponsored by Sonic. You have to hear this story. A mistake led to an Illinois man hitting it big in the lottery. So Michael says that he has a favorite restaurant that he likes to eat at in Michigan. And every few weeks he drives from Illinois to that restaurant. Right. So he buys lottery tickets while in Michigan. Usually spends, you know, 20, 40 bucks mm -hmm. on tickets. But this time, the clerk accidentally printed too many tickets. Michael went ahead and bought them all anyway. Good and decision. that's certainly, yeah, <laughs> especially because it paid off for him big. He won $25,000 a year for the rest of his life after matching five of the numbers. Now, he opted for the one time payment of $390,000. He says he plans to use that money to travel and then save some of it. That is a smart move. Yeah, good for him. All right, Washington News at 5 is straight ahead. Here's what's coming up in our next hour. Yeah, hateful messages painted in Flagler Beach. Tonight, we hear from a business owner who believes he was targeted. Plus, we need to know what happened, and we want justice. The daughter of a military veteran is searching for answers after her father was shot and killed at an Ocoee gas station, what she is asking people to look out for tonight. And a live look outside tonight as the sun is starting to set. The temperatures will certainly drop. We're going to actually see some of the coldest temperatures of the year so far. Your chilly forecast details up next on Western News at 5. This first warning weather update is sponsored by the Law Offices of Dan Newland Injury Attorneys.